What's up guys, it's Josh, uh, just bringing you guys another little update, um, cause a lot has changed, just some new discs thrown in the bag, uh, leagues this week, Heiser Olympics like two weeks ago or something like that, and, um, yeah, so, first off, some changes in the bag are, the bag, <laughs> I did get a new bag, I went from a, uh, Dynamic Disc Soldier bag to now I have a Grip Equipment bag, it's the, uh, camo the digital camo bag um i bought it when they had their holiday sales so for 222 instead of 250 um yep it was my birthday present my birthday was a couple of weeks ago so i asked my parents for it and yep um now some just changes in the bag um starting off with my putters i changed putters for whatever reason so now i'm not even full enova anymore because i used to only throw enova everything in my bag was enova now um I, for whatever reason, decided I wanted to start putting with Wizards, so I have two pretty much max weight. This one's 174, but this one's 175, but I can't tell the difference because they pretty much look the same, and they pretty much fly the same, or they do fly the same, and the stamps are so similar that I can't really ever tell when I grab them out if they're, which one they are. So, there's that. Next is um, this beauty right in front here. It's a blue metal flaked champion gator. Uh, factory second and the only thing that I found in the person who gave it to me found that really made it a factory second was there's this little tiny black speck which I probably can't even get to show up on camera it's right there if you can see it that's the only thing that is honestly wrong with it that I found there's no bubbles in the rim or anything like that but um you gotta give a big shout out to Tim Boston. Uh, you guys can check out his channel. It'll be in the description and it's in my future channels list if you guys want to go check him out. Um, he's gonna be doing a 100 subscriber giveaway when he gets to that. He's, I think, what he said, 18 away, and I think that's what he was last time I checked. So um, go ahead and give him a sub subscribe and uh, you know be ready for that. And um, so yeah, we did a little secret Santa with our. Uh, our club at our school and I gave we all had each other I had Tim Tim had me and Kyle had Hunter and Hunter had Kyle and Nate had Mr. Rhodes and Mr. Rhodes had Nate but um yep I had t I gave Tim a uh, recon ch a recon which is like Heiser Bombs champion plastic mortar it was really domey but I was, so I was kind of scared to give it to him because I didn't know how that would go down because uh I didn't know if that dome was going to make it really just kind of the point like was going to take all of the value out of the disc but to my surprise, Tim said that all of the uh, recon mortars he saw, have he's never seen a flat top recon mortar. So that kind of made me feel a little bit better about it. And also the thing was super overstable. It just, it just, I can't even describe how big of a hyzer it would always come off, come up off of. But um, yeah, that's really it. So um, shout out to Tim for that. Um, next is a new Rhino that I got. I told you guys I was going to be putting a rhino in my bag for like kind of a meat hook putter and so I liked it. My other one was pretty cool and it was one of my first discs I had so I went ahead and bought another one. It's just a champion rhino, uh, max weight. I like to use it for little forehand approaches. Um, gets up and down really fast. I don't have a great forehand so I kind of really need some overstable stuff to, to flick but uh, yeah. So champion rhino, that's a new little addition to the bag. I can put that in there right now because I can't see my bag. but um. See what's next. Oh, uh, new KC Pro Rock again. Um, got a black with red stamp one. Saw it and just basically knew I had to have it. It was super sweet. Um, stable, just like every KC I've ever thrown, unless it's lighter. But uh, always gonna finish the left for me. I trust it. I trust any KC. Honestly, if you give me a brand new one, any kind of one, as long as it's 180 to 177, and I I trust it going left every single time. Um, next is two T-Birds that I have to give a shout out to Nate Dungey for. I just said your full name. Sorry, Nate. Um, but I bought them off of him yesterday when we were playing Arcadia Park, which is like an hour drive from our house. It's a fun course. Um, I feel like for it to be fully worth the, the drive there, you really need to spend kind of, not the entire day, but you need to at least get two rounds in there. So... Uh, we had a half day yesterday of, off school because Christmas break is now officially started, and so we went there right after school. We uh we went and played around. There was a Chipotle near the course. We went and got Chipotle, and then went back and played around for what we call bragging rights because none of us really wanted to play for plastic. One, because it was kind of getting dark, so you know if 
someone lost, they'd be like, well, we didn't play a full round, so we just kind of said for bragging rights. And uh, yeah, so green metal flaked uh, tournament stamp. Not really sure what tournament this is. Um, T bird, it's 166. Uh, it's my turnover T bird now. I was really looking for a slower speed turnover disc that wasn't a mid range but was still a driver, and I found it. Uh, I was throwing it yesterday. Was really liking it, and um, yeah. So my new t turnover T bird. Uh, yeah. Next is this G Star T bird. Also got from Nate. Uh, it's got the American flag uh, stamp on it. Really cool. Um, this is my straight T bird now. I took all the T birds out of my bag, and now I'm just using T bird. I'm. I guess I put two T birds in after I took t two T birds out. Um, basically, I found that. One of, I was overthrowing a lot of my uh, Thunderbirds when I needed a little short shots, so basically I just took them out, and because they don't take that much power to really get get far, I threw one yesterday like 370, and didn't even throw it that hard. Was really surprised it even made it there. I was kind of just trying to keep it in the fairway, and next thing I knew it was parked up by the basket. So, um, yeah, this one I, uh, you know, T birds you really they're slower speeds they're not as fast which means they're not going to go as far as let's say a thunderbird but um yeah so grab some new t-birds uh straight t-bird not much else to say about it uh let's see what else is new um oh yeah okay so some two little cheeky additions to the bag that i put in for whatever reason i put a uh star boss in a for whatever reason, I just decided that I needed something a little faster than my destroyer, and this is really the only thing I like from Innova that's faster than my destroyer. So it flies the same. Because they have the same numbers, I'm pretty sure they're just one. This is just one speed faster. Let me check that. I took the stamp off of it. Twelve five negative one three. Yeah, so same numbers, just a little bit quicker. And um yeah, so this is 167. It's really, it's a lot flippier than I thought it would have been because I was not really sure if I could throw a 13 speed. And like within the second day I had it, I threw a, it just wouldn't flip back over and I threw it like 417 feet or something like that. And it was still on an anti line when it hit. So my guess would have been if I'd put it a little bit farther to the right and maybe a little higher that it probably would have reached right around like 430 ish maybe or 450. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, so boss, and I put another boss in too. This is my old boss. This was like the first champion disc I ever bought. Um, and I just kind of took it out of my bag when I first, you know, started learning what flight numbers were and like how, what discs were good for me and stuff. Because, you know, when you're first starting, you don't really know what that means or anything. And I kind of just picked discs all on my own. I mean, I had my cousin's help, but, you know, they were kind of just like, oh, this works good for me, and, you know, they can throw, like, 600 feet, so I was like, that doesn't that doesn't really help me, because I can only throw, like, 200 at the time. They were like, so get a boss, and the thing was just overstable with balls, didn't really like it that much, didn't throw it that much. Uh, when I first got it, it was kind of, or when I got my new bag, which was that soldier bag at the time, I just kind of put it in there as a placeholder, never really threw it. Now that I'm seeing that I can throw it again, it's kind of my it's my straight boss almost. I can throw it a little bit higher, it'll flip up, it'll ride out, and it'll it'll finish left. So not certain yet if I'm gonna keep it as in my bag or not because I don't really like champion, but this one doesn't feel that bad because it's kind of the I say older champion, but like from like 2009, 2010, and it doesn't it's kind of used, so it doesn't feel as um, I guess slick as normal champion. And um, with the bag, the only other thing really new is a little mini that I got with it. It's cool. It's just blue with this kind of shatter red stamp on it. Um, really like it. Those are my favorite colors, so really pleased to get that. As you can tell with this being red and blue too, and a lot of my discs being blue, that's my favorite color. My hat. Um, but yeah, uh, went out to leagues this morning too. Um, shot one over. Honestly, could have been. Let's see. I would have shot one under had I not freaking nailed the side of a quarter potty on a on hole nine, which bounced me out of bounds, and I ended up double bogeying because I overthrew my upshot and missed my putt. And not much to say. Threw a bad shot, went out of bounds, paid for it, but still went out there and got the win. I have twenty five bucks up at uh, DD now. Probably gonna go grab a. I have a pink max weight destroyer on hold up there, so. 
that'll probably be coming into the bag as soon as I can get up there next. Uh, I don't know where we're playing tomorrow, but if we play up there, I'll probably see if we can't stop by there and grab it. Also, I have a boss up there, so with the twenty-five dollars, whatever I have extra, it should be around like seven bucks. I'll probably put the extra like you know ten bucks to get that boss too. But um, also played the Heiser Olympics. Yes, or not the Heiser. Yeah, the dynamic this Heiser Olympics a couple of weeks ago. <sighs> played really bad. I'm not that. I'm not that mad about it because I played blind. I never played green belt or Jimmy Porter. Uh, some courses over in Carrollton. Um, ended up shooting like 19 over or something. I just <laughs> the first course I shot seven over. Wasn't that mad about it because there were a few strokes where I could have gotten them back. Putting wasn't all that great that day. Some shots I didn't really know necessarily where water was. I kind of just went. I saw the basket, went up there and threw it. Ended up paying strokes for it. Whatever, not a big deal. Then I get over to Greenbelt, and Greenbelt just kind of, you know, eats me alive, gives me a plus 12. Um, not much to say, just throwing bad shots. Really windy, didn't really compensate. Found out that really the driver besides the Firebird I should have been driving with was honestly my max the entire time because it's a little bit quicker. And um, I don't know, it just fought the wind a lot better, and uh, I got a little more distance out of it than the Firebird. But what are you going to do? It was a little bit ago. Can't go back and take any of those strokes back. So, it's so whatever. It took fourth. Uh, Hunter played in it, and he took fifth right behind me. I think he shot, uh, I want to say, like 24 over. And then Tim played advanced. We both played, or no, he played intermediate. We both played uh, rec. That was my first tournament I ever played, actually. So, I'm all right with that. And then Tim played intermediate, and he took home... I, I don't know actually. I don't know what place he got. He shot nine big. Uh, ended up cashing out with fifty bucks. I think he bought like a chair or and something, some other things. Uh, he didn't in the or uh, box opening on his channel with it. You can go check that out. I might link. I might leave the link in my description. But um, yeah, not not much else to say. Um, so yeah, like I've been saying for like the past two videos, I will try to get that Thunderbird review out. It's been kind of hard to get out and film some video of me throwing it with school and everything. So with a uh, breakup, I will have like two weeks of just doing nothing. So I will definitely have that up and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.